Good morning and welcome to Mrs. Bell Sweet Treats and More. This is my YouTube channel. Today is Monday and this is Monday Moments. And today I am watching a beautiful sunny day and I thought about a cheesecake. And I have uh, several recipes that I've already done, but this one is a little different. I'm gonna top it. One of my daughters makes a brownie topped uh, chocolate chip and brownie mixture. I guess that would be called a choco knee. <laughs> it's delicious. So I, I'm doing a little spin on it and I am making this one in uh, a, a cookie topped cream cheese uh, delight. So I have my ingredients here and there, there are going to be several steps um, and I want to encourage you together we can do this. Um, I am going to begin. I have not in the past ground up my um, graham crackers because that's what we're going to use for our foundation. So I wanted to show you all uh, what I do. I usually use a blender or one of those magic bullets with my graham crackers. And of course, the recipe is below. But today I wanted to show you, you know, sometimes I use a rolling pin, but you can use a heavy pan or something that you have and just put your graham crackers in a bag and you just pound on them. And I, I actually just roll on the rolling pin and it gets them nice and fine. So I have a cup here and I'm going to put that into my blender, my beater. And I need a cup, about a cup, a little less than a cup and a half. And of course the measurements, the recipe is below. So they ground up pretty well when you do them by hand. And then I measure, measure out what I need and just put it. I think graham cracker crusts are just amazing. You can buy them in the store. Um, I chose to make it this morning to ground it today because I wanted you to see how I, I did it. So I'm going to add this. You don't need a standalone beater for this. I'm just using it and I'm going to, I melted my butter. It's not hot, it's just melted. So there are no uh, butter clumps in there. And I'm gonna mix that. And then I'll be back. Well, I finished with my um, beating my butter and graham crackers together. And now I'm just pressing them into a pan. And I just use one of my regular pans and it is, I have found that it is important to line my pans, especially when I'm sharing something and I want it to come out uh, smooth. Um, you know, sometimes uh, in cooking, even though I sometimes find easier ways of doing something, I also found that sometimes you can't rush the process. Sometimes the process is the process. And in order to get there, I'm going to have to go through the process. So I'm pressing this in here. And I'm going to put this in the oven. I lined it with some foil. You can certainly line it with uh, parchment paper. Um, I, I sprayed it also because I really want this to come out well. Well, my graham cracker crust is in the oven and I'm going to put together the dough. I'm adding a stick of butter and it's room temperature. I'm adding salted because sometimes uh, too much uh, sweet kind of doesn't go you know, for me. I'm adding butter and I'm going to add pre-measured sugar, brown and granulated. And I'm going to mix them together. I like making uh, cookies. Sometimes I make them um, from scratch. This this I'm going to make from scratch just to to encourage you to uh, try something different. But you can you can use refrigerated dough. Certainly, you can use the uh, packets. I usually have a packet also 
of the, the dough that's already together and you add the egg and all that to it. Um, so I'm beating this together. And of course I'm gonna have to scrape down. And we are incorporating everything together. I'm excited about the season that we're uh, still in because I like uh, winter, the smell of winter, the feel of winter, not necessarily the driving of winter, but you know, you take the good with the bad. <laughs> okay, so I've scraped that down and I'm gonna add my vanilla, adding about a teaspoon. And to that, I'm going to add my flour and I aerated my flour. I have some flour here with a little bit of salt. And I'll mix that until ready. Well, my dough is about done and I'm just going to slowly add my chocolate chips. The reason I did not use a box mix or a um, the dough was because I really wanted the texture of the chocolate chocolate chips. Some of the dough has maybe smaller chocolate chips and I really want the cookie cheesecake to uh, have that texture. It's already going to be nice and gooey and all of that good stuff. So here's my dough and I'm going to set it aside while I prepare the cheesecake. Here is our burn cracker crust, and it makes the room smell like I've really done something. I've only added graham, crushed graham crackers and butter. It's cooled off, and I'm adding together, uh, first of all, I'll show you, here is our cookie dough. And I've set it aside, and I'm going to I've already begun whipping my cream cheese. I want it to be nice and creamy. And now I'm going to add my sugar, just regular sugar. And some more vanilla. I'm going to scrape this down and I want you to see how creamy this uh, the cream cheese is, cheese is starting to look. I don't know if you can see. I'm going to turn. Yeah. So it's starting to look really creamy and fluffy. So I'm going to scrape this down. And as you can see, I'm going to stir and come back. Now I'm adding my egg. Very loose batter. Scrape it down and get it from the bottom. I'm not trying to make egg pie. I need everybody aboard when I'm cooking. And so I don't want the egg yolk to cook separate from the batter. And I don't want the cream cheese to be separate. So I'm scraping down and it does take a little bit extra time, but um, we get there. So I'm going to beat this again. Okay. 
And so I've added my egg to the batter and I scraped it down and looks really, really smooth. I want it to be velvety looking and I don't want any clumps of cream cheese um, to show up. So I've whipped this for, uh, mm, you can smell the cream cheese and the batter. So I'm gonna scrape this off and I'll be back when I, so I can add it to the pan. Well, I'm getting this ready. I've already added my egg and to the batter and this is this creaminess we have. So I'm adding this to my graham cracker crust and I'm gonna try to do it without um, disturbing the crust. You know, I like the crust um, on the bottom. Sometimes I like it inside of my uh, cream cheese, but here I want it to stay still. Oh, this smells so good. I've uh, enjoyed cooking. I've watched a number of shows over the years. I have some favorites, but even my favorites don't always cook everything I like or the way I like it. Um, and no matter how uh, good a cook, everybody's not going to please everybody. I know I, I have my way of doing, everyone has a way of doing, and I hope that doesn't stop you from trying new things. I would really enjoy hearing from you what you tried, what worked, what didn't work. So I'm gently pushing this, moving it around. I'm more pressing it so that it will fill in the spots without pulling up the bottom. And it is so, it smells so good. So I'm pushing it, pushing it, gently moving it. I want the layers to show and not be, um, it's nothing wrong with them going together because it's all going to the same place. I just want to do this one in a presentation style that um, demonstrates the three layers. So, I'm pushing, pushing, so that everybody has some goodness. Now, I'm gonna take my cookie dough, and it's a little soft, um, but I don't want it clumped, so I'm gonna make it like, like a cookie, not so much in the shape, but so that it will fit on top. Okay. I'm trying to get them the same. I like the feel of chocolate chips, the lumpy, and I am really excited about this. And <laughs> I hope my friends are too. I have a friend that likes chocolate chip cookies, but not cheesecake, but wants to try it. You know, I have discovered that there are so many things to learn. And I am, I, I used to hear the phrase lifetime learner. I don't know about you, but when I failed in cooking something in the past, I've kind of given up and said, I, I just can't cook that. And that's, that's not uh, necessarily um, not necessarily true. I can't cook that like someone else, but sometimes I can cook it and I cook it my way. I have a wonderful friend who she and I share that secret ingredient and, uh, that has changed her whole cooking mode. 
she thought um, a certain way and there is such a gifting in each one of us. And sometimes we have to find our path. Sometimes it looks like a certain way and we, we try to make it fit a certain direction. But, you know, that doesn't mean because you made something delicious one time that, um, and then the next time it turned out awful that you're not a good cook. Cooking is perspective, courage. Remember we talked about that in the past. It's courage. It takes courage to, to cook, to learn something, to do something different. So I am putting on top all of, uh, trying to get every, every piece. I'm trying to, it's going to bake and mend together, but I, I don't want any cheesecake necessarily peeking over the top. I want them to be surprised. So I'm kind of maneuvering it and putting chocolate chips in places to prevent peeking. Who doesn't like, well, some people can't eat chocolate or don't like it, so I'm not going to say who doesn't. And I wonder if you wanted to try another type of cookie, would that work? Why don't you try it and let me know your favorite cookie? Something simple. Okay. I'm gonna turn my pan and just make, make it kinda look, kinda look like. So there we are. Pop it in a 325 oven and we'll be back. Well, here we have it. I have cooled it for a little bit. It's still a tiny bit like lukewarm, but I'm gonna cut it so you can take a look. It's nice and crunchy on the top. See the chocolate chips and the cream cheese and the cookie and the graham cracker crust. Who can resist that? Mm. Easy recipe. And I found it on the internet. I've made the uh, other ones, but these, this particular recipe, I included in the link. It's a good one. Together we can do this. I hope you get to make this and I don't want to lose it. You have a wonderful day. I look forward to hearing from you and seeing how this turned out for you.